Our body communicates in unbelievably complex ways that make me giddy with excitement and because deciphering the mysteries of the body as we study its functions can be an exhilarating process where we pin down proper mechanisms. In this content, I'd like to take some time and explain to you one of the mechanisms by which your stomach and intestines communicate to your brain, indicating it's full or empty. If you'd like to have a concise, science-based education on the protein called peptide YY that mediates this action, stick around. Learn your body, a science-based education. This information is taken from a scientific review on the matter, and my more detailed notes are linked to this content for you. As a bit of background, the communication between the gastrointestinal system, meaning the stomach, the intestines, and the like, and the brain is complex and certainly extends beyond what is described here. But some of the major players are brain cells called POMC neurons and AGRP NPY neurons. These two brain cell subclasses are affected by a hormone released by the intestines called peptide YY. When we consume food, peptide YY is secreted from the L cells of the intestinal tract and is directly associated with increased food consumption, as well as fat nutrient intake. The more of either, the more peptide YY is released into the bloodstream. As a matter of fact, the effect is quick to arrive and long lasting with a rise in as soon as 15 minutes and can remain elevated for six hours. Peptide YY, once secreted, affects a series of functions in the body, from constricting blood vessels, controlling gastric acid, and intestinal motility, meaning it controls how quickly food moves through the intestines. However, one of its chief targets of interest is its effect in reducing hunger. In this latter function, it targets the aforementioned neurons, the POMC and AGRP NPY. In doing so, it binds a receptor on the AGRP NPY neurons known as the receptor Y2. In doing so, it inhibits the release of orexigenic or hunger promoting hormones like neuropeptide Y, while also binding POMC neurons and stimulating the release of anorexic or hunger inhibiting hormones like melanocyte stimulating hormone. This increase in MSH and decrease in MPY, melanocyte stimulating hormone and neuropeptide Y respectively, leads to downstream effects where MSH will bind other neurons responsible for feelings of fullness, decreased hunger. Does this ultimately lead to reduced consumption, however? Well, yes, and rather dramatic. Injecting a molecule like peptide YY that is selective for receptor Y2 leads to a decrease in consumption in animals and reduced body weight when injection with peptide YY was used. However, this has also been repeated in humans and the same effects are seen, significantly decreased food consumption from injections of peptide YY. So overall, peptide YY is a potent inhibitor of consumption and leads to weight loss through likely a main effect on decrease in consumption, although it has far reaching effects in other areas as well by acting on the brain directly or indirectly. I hope this proved informative and I hope to have the pleasure of speaking with you in the near future. Cheers. Mm -hmm.